Today, I want to show you how you can uh, still have the same functionality as a rewire. So in this example here, we already have the session that's open and already set up like a Pro 2 session as well, as you can see here. So let's uh, go ahead and let's record a few bars of this piano and then I'm going to show you how you can set it up. So as we, as you can see, I have a count in so we, the MIDI can sync up. Just like that, we had the first parts of the piano recorded from the Reason session. So how in the heck was this accomplished? Okay, first thing you want to do, make sure that you have multiple virtual inputs, which is installed whenever you have, when you whenever you install Pro Tools. And you can see this with inside of the MIDI setup menu, as you can see here. So we have the MIDI setup, and you can see these multiple aggregate drivers. I believe on the Pro Tools Ultimate, it also allows, there's like an internal aux IO. I'm not sure if this is true for the first or the Pro Tools artist, but I'm going to show you as if you are going to use the Pro Tools aggregate for the artist or the Pro Tools first. And I'll also show you the Pro Tools Ultimate way of doing the same process. So as you can see here, with the Pro Tools aggregate, what it allows you to do is have multiple drivers under one driver IO. As you can see here, I have my interface. Then on additional to that, I have the Pro Tools Audio Bridge 16. This is what we're gonna be using with inside of Reason. So once you have this set up in your audio MIDI aggregate, make sure you have the selected interfaces then you're going to go up to your midi it's already open but you're open if it wasn't open you click on show midi studio and click on the iac driver and make sure this is active and online if you want to so that is important to stay on so now you have a virtual midi time clock and i'll show you how this is set up now these are the initial steps. Once you have this done, we're going to reasons, going to preference. Then we're going to go to sync. And within sync, go to MIDI time clock and select the IAC driver, the one that we just activated. Shoot, it should show up after you activated the online button. Now, since we have a MIDI clock set up, let's go ahead and set it up in reasons to be set up, to synced up. So let's go ahead and go down here and click on MIDI clock. So we are ready to go with inside of reasons. So now let's go over to Pro Tools. In Pro Tools, first thing you want to do before you start the session is make sure that you hold in the letter N like in Nancy. So you could go into the playback engine and set up your Pro Tools aggregate playback engine. All right, so once you have that set up, you're ready to access all of the IO. So the way we'll do that now is go into IO under setup and go under output. And as you can see here, it just has these are the inputs and outputs of the the IO settings, right? These various channels, they're there for the to represent the 16 channels, as you can see here, the out 15, 16, all the way to 30. Those are the additional channels we set up. And as I mentioned as well, is that Aux IO setting. I'm not sure if this is on Pro Tools first, but if you click on the Aux IO setting, you can also have the additional IO here. As you can see, the bridge 16, and now that's with inside of your session. A lot of times, if you 
if it's your first time using this, you want to be sure to click on default. And what it will do, I'll click it just to show you, it remaps everything. So ev all of your settings are back into what it was, but we're not going to do that. We'll just maintain, make sure we have the MacBook out, the main outputs here. I didn't screw it up, mess it up a little bit. And we want to have the audition path. And yeah, this is for the um, surround sound. So yeah, now that we have this set up, you could route it to different buses if you want to. Like, uh, as you can see here, I have the 9 and 10 is going out. So you can actually hear, I have this set up into the OBS. So the same output here can be routed directly into whatever output you want to have on your computer. So now that's set up, we have to go into the MIDI beat clock. You see this, beat clock? And make sure the IAC driver is set on. So once that's set up, now we have a link with the MIDI and uh, the beat clock. So once that's completed, now we're going to go into the preferences and go to synchronization. Under synchronization, it's going to be defaulted for the receive place. What you want to do is uncheck that and check transmit place. And as you can see here, this is also defaulted to be unchecked. But these parameters allow you to, as it says, shows here, machine follows, edit, insert, scrub. So that means wherever you click on the timeline, it's going to be synced up with uh, Reason. I have all of those checked as well. And you can test out the other ones to see if it's matching to whatever type of output that you're using. If you're syncing it up to a video production program or anything of that sort, you will have to keep these options in mind once you have this set up and as we already set up with inside of reasons this mini clock should be ready to go so let's go ahead and press play and um, let's see if it's still doing the same thing right as you can see it's moving inside of reasons and it's recording into Pro Tools. So just like I mentioned with the insertion point, so if I stop it and then I move it to a point, you'll see it also move with inside of reasons. All right. So this is a way that you can sync your audio. Of course, you could get more granular with how you want to route your audio. Like, for example, if you wanted to have, instead of me using the one and two. That's right. So, as you see, I have the, just going, have it going directly into the master out. But if you want, you could, you could bring all the individual instruments into the IO path. As you can see, I have more audio input. So, if you wanted to have all of your reasons, tracks to, to match individually with inside of your Pro Tools session, you could do that as well. But right now, and up to 16 channels is how we have it set up now. But you could also go further, as you can see. And you can have all of your MIDI channels synced out. In addition to that, you can have uh, MIDI, uh, you could play the MIDI of these instruments by setting it up a certain way, but we're not going to go into that today. But hopefully this is helpful for you. It has been helpful for me because I didn't want to bounce the audio and I wanted to have some more control of what I wanted to bounce and if I wanted to change some of the piano or something like that. That's, it gives me that option. Thank you. Again, this is Jay Eldon. Be sure to like and subscribe. Go ahead, press that subscribe button. And I'm going to be sure to help you with more content like such as this. All right. Thank you and have a good day.